Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 14th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past two days, large plasma filament, the black line across the southern part of our sun right now is about to rip away. So heads up and stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide as I will keep you updated with the latest imagery and information regarding this large plasma filament that's about to let loose. And there's quite a few prominence all across the surface of the sun, especially the equatorial region, but this is the one that is about to let loose. As I said, we watched one let go yesterday. This one's about to do the same thing. Amazing images here brought to you by Dong and NSO. and ESO, European Space Observatory. 171 angstroms here. This is where we can see the darkened regions, which are coronal holes. We have one turning away, and as well, one building just above the equator here on our sun. Three Earth-facing sunspots right now. None of them right now are looking like they're about to do anything. Seems pretty quiet. Most of the activity has been the plasma filaments. Huge plasma loop on the left side of our sun here. Amazing images. If you enjoy all this information and imagery, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And thank you all so much for the amazing support last night. We reached over a thousand likes in the worst in the first couple hours. You guys keep doing that. We're going to be growing to 100K any day most active region just recently producing a strong c-class solar flare stay tuned it could be even stronger details are still coming in right now we have four earth-facing sunspots right here two of them are active yet turning away current space weather conditions we are under zero no space weather conditions to talk about Solar winds are coming in at 328 kilometers per second. That's a little bit more average. Solar X-ray flux showing the most recent sea flare activity. After seeing a pretty busy yet day yesterday, three M-class solar flares, multiple strong seas. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP3. That was throughout the day today. Now we are expecting a space weather event these minor geomagnetic solar storms are on their way. Expected arrival December 17th. Updated ISWA space prediction spirals here. NOAA and now ISWA. Outgoing CME there towards Mars yet again. Or sorry, Mercury. And here's another one a little bit bigger. Impact dates up in the top or left. Little yellow circle is us. The center is our sun. Orchestrating the greatest space weather cosmic dance party on the planet. Amazing images here. Lasco 2. No major coronal mass ejections headed our way, except for the most recent ones that I just showed you. And here they are. Now let's have a look at earthquakes as we did see a sizable earthquake after the earthquake warning video yesterday. Last night, large earthquake warning for South America and Central America and a 6.4 struck Molina, Chile. Pretty deep as well, 130 kilometer depth. So that's not the large shallow earthquake that I was expecting. Still something brewing, I think. 5.3 earthquake there, South Sandwich Islands. And as well, notable earthquakes here south of the Australian plate, Macquarie, west of Macquarie Island, 4.8 and a 4.7, 5.2 earthquake there, New Zealand, and as well, 4.7, another deep earthquake in Fiji. Yet again, today, 544, or sorry, 545 kilometer depth, 4.5. After yesterday's 625 kilometer depth. And then look at this really peculiar activity here 5.3 magnitude earthquake in the Band of Sea. 
That's quite a convergence zone for crustal plates. Right there, folks. Something's brewing. We're going to see a big one here soon. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. That's what it's all about. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared. Carrying on here around for earthquakes. You're quiet through Europe. Notable increasing activity through the Virgin Islands and as well SO2 spewing out of the uh, active or sorry dormant volcanoes semi-active maybe awakening notable activity here stanley idaho 3.1 the largest all across alaska increased seismicity as well and just recently 4.5 earthquake off the coast of kamchatka very active volcanic region as well. And right now we have 69 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Stay tuned as we will be giving you a volcanic activity report over the next few days. Collect up the data and see what's going on. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. And thank you again so much for watching. Please, if you live in an earthquake prone zone, we're still under an earthquake watch and warning. Heads up, my friends, deep earthquakes, followed by larger, shallower earthquakes, and very active seismicity up in Alaska and the Pacific Northwest United States. So please stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by active volcanoes, big eruption at Popopoketatol, and as well Kamchatka, Hawaii, and parts of Guatemala. Big plume coming out of Central Africa. Two very active volcanoes in the region. Near Agongo and near Miragira. Other than that, notice there just north of Venezuela, north of the South American continent, the island regions, the Virgin Islands, lots of pressure being released there. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got some big systems racing across the North Pacific this week. Looking at live satellite imagery, this is showing the last 12 hours. Very strong North Pacific system right now that just came out of Japan. It's going to be heading towards the Aleutian Islands. If you want to see the full weather forecast, check out last night's video showing live satellite imagery to here today as this is a very strong system and it will be almost a hurricane by the time it makes landfall through the Aleutian Islands. It's amazing how much our planet has changed over the last little while. I've been broadcasting here for seven years now. And it's amazing to see everything unfolding in front of our eyes. Like this amazing satellite imagery of a monstrous low pressure system in the Northwest Pacific deep lower level trough you can see the low clouds being dragged in behind there and look at the size of the center of that low pressure system that is massive and watch it kind of square out at the end there in the satellite imagery that's what happens when you see massive systems so big I've seen them break up like that. They turn into almost a rectangular shape. But this thing's going to maintain its velocity and its veracity as it heads towards the Aleutian Islands. We've also got a cyclone here that ravaged parts of northern Madagascar. And as well, the island regions in between the African continent and Madagascar. It is now on its way to Marupa, Nampula and Moma, and Pariba, or Pemba, all Malawi, Zimbabwe. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by extreme weather events, volcanoes, and earthquakes, and as well, space weather. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay up, and have fun.